Hello Floyd families, I'm Dr. John Wheeler, Superintendent of Schools. We want to welcome you all to the 2020-2021 school year, a very different year for all of us. The information I'm going to share today has already been sent to families. Hopefully my going through the information and changes to make the school experience as positive and safe as possible will help to ease some of the anxieties. The process of creating the reopening plan was a lengthy process, it took patience and precision as we went through so many variables and it involved many people. I want to thank all of those families and staff members that took part in the survey and to those families that have reached out to us over the past five months. We greatly appreciate all of you. I want to thank our many staff members who participated on our reopening task force and completed the survey. Our task force has put in many hours reviewing the safest and soundest procedures to get our students back in school. Our school board was tremendous as we continued to review the objectives and our purpose. Our goal was always to serve the most vulnerable students as soon as possible. Our pre-K through three children, our special needs and English language learners, and all students who needed social and emotional support while at the same time keeping our staff, children, and community as safe as possible. Our plan was reviewed by Dr. Bissell of the New River Health District, our risk insurance company, our school board attorneys, as well as the Virginia Department of Education. I received a call this week from the chief of staff from the Virginia Department of Education. He wanted to relay to me that they were impressed with our plan and all the details. I was asked to present our plan to the superintendents on a virtual call in the coming days. This is a great honor for all of us. You have received the reopening plans as well as the safety protocols. You may have noticed that a week ago the CDC changed their guidelines and reduced the social distancing from six feet to three feet recommendation. And they reduced the time for students to stay home once they are fever free from 72 hours to 24 hours. We are still expecting our staff and students to maintain six foot social distancing. We also expect families to keep students at home for 72 hours and be fever free without any medication interventions. You will see the safety protocol document on your screen now. I wanna walk you through a day for students. Face coverings must be worn on the bus. Extra face coverings will be available if a student forgets theirs. When a student or any staff member or visitor enter the building, they must have a face mask on. Students in elementary school will report directly to their first class and teachers and administrators will help them pick up their breakfast on their way. All students can receive breakfast. Students at high school when they arrive will arrive and go directly to the cafeteria and all high school students will receive breakfast. The cafeteria will have six foot distance seating and administrators and teachers will dismiss them from the cafeteria to their first period class. For lunches, we will follow the same process and students will be dismissed from class and going to the cafeteria. Elementary students will be eating lunch in their room so they will return to their room with their lunches. The dismissal protocol will be as follows. Students will be called down by class, whether they're car ride or a bus, and there will be the meals packaged for the remainder of the week where they will not be in person. Students will be able to take these meals home with them on the bus or car rider. We will be making arrangements for our FCPS online students to be able to get their meals as well for the week. More information on that to come. The next page of the safety and protocol document involves the process when there is a positive case of COVID-19 in our school division. This was created in line with the New River Health Task Force and the New River Valley Health District. As you can see, the protocol involves the health department every step of the way. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at any time. You can see at the bottom we have links to information and we will continually keep everyone updated 
on our website and social media. We monitor this situation daily. We monitor the area and we work with the New River Health District. So any changes that will come, we will make you aware. The next document you will see is the parent screening form. Please sign this form and return it to your school and adhere to this daily routine. We appreciate all the cooperation on this to keep your family and everybody's family safe. Please know that this is a health issue and not a political issue, and that's how we are embracing it. We will have signs posted throughout our schools as reminders to practice good healthy habits, washing hands, social distancing, and not coming into the building until we know that you have no symptoms. All this information was sent out to families and is also on our website under reopening. Please know we are here for you. We want you to take care and enjoy your families and the rest of the summer. Please remember, if you as an adult are okay and not panicked, your child will be fine as well. Feel free to call with any questions that you may have. Have a great first day of school and a great school year. Thank you.